Marvelous Bible lesson is taken from the book of Amos, third chapter and fourth chapter. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I know of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no chin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth? and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Publish in the palaces at Ashtod and in the palaces in the land of Egypt and say, Assemble yourselves upon the mountains of Samaria and Behold the great tumult, tumults in the midst thereof, and the oppressed in the midst thereof. For they know not to do right, said the Lord, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Therefore thus said the Lord God, an adversary sh there shall be even round about the land, and the and he shall bring down thy strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. Thus saith the Lord, as the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of the lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out that dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed, and in Damascus in a coach. Hear ye, and testify in the house of Jacob, said the Lord God, the God of hosts, that in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of Israel upon him, I will also visit the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar shall be cut off, and fall to the ground. And I will smite the winter house with the summer house, and the houses of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have an end, said the Lord. Fourth chapter. Hear this word, ye kind of Bashan, that are in the mountain of Samaria, which oppress the poor which crush the needy, which say to their masters, Bring and let us drink. The Lord God hath sworn by his holiness, that, lo, the days shall come upon you, that he will take you away with hooks, and your posterity with fish hooks, and ye shall go out at the breaches every cow at their cow at that which is before her and ye shall cast them into the palace said the lord come to bethel and transgress at gilgal multiply transgression and bring your sacrifices every morning and your tithes after three years and offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with 
leaven and proclaim and publish the free offerings for this like it you o ye children of israel said the lord god and i also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and want to want of bread in in all your places it have ye not returned unto me said the lord and also i have withholden the rain from you when there were it three months to the harvest and i caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city one piece was rained upon and the piece where upon it rained not withered so two or three cities wandered unto the unto one city to drink water but they were not satisfied it have ye not returned unto me said the lord i have smitten you with blast blasting and mildew when your gad- gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased the palmer worm devoured them it have ye not returned unto me said the lord i have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of egypt your young men have i slain with the sword and have taken away your horses and i have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils it have ye not returned unto me said the lord i have overthrown some of you as god overthrew sodom and gomorrah and ye were as a fire brand plucked out of the burning it have ye not returned unto me said the lord therefore thus will i do unto the unto the o israel and because i will do this unto the prepare to meet thy god o israel for lo he that formed the mountains and created the wind and declared unto man what is his thought that make it the morning darkness and treaded upon the high places of the earth the lord the god of hosts is his name here in the bible lesson